sports cars, F1 cars, Teslas and heavy duty trucks. These all mighty machines are what they are due to torque. But what is actually torque? Let's find out in this video. But before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you get notified each time we post a new interesting video. Now without further wasting time, let's get started. <music> So torque, by definition, is the perpendicular force acting upon an axis from a distance. Let's understand torque by this illustrated example. Consider this car, which we want to move forward. Now to do this, we'll rotate its wheels. So we'll make an arrangement like this. A plank connected from the center of the wheel to the front of the car. Now we'll put down some weight at the end of the plank. As the weight will try to come down due to gravity, the plank will get tilted, which indeed rotates the wheel, moving the car forward. Now let's break down the definition. The perpendicular force is the force created by this weight. Acting upon an axis is the axis of this wheel on which the wheel rotates. From a distance is the length of the plank. Now let's consider this truck, which we want to move forward. Now, if you use the same weight and same plank, will it move forward? Probably not, because it has more weight which contributes to more friction at the ground. Also, more weight requires more force to make it gain momentum. And if the truck is loaded, then the task is even harder. So what we can do? There's a simple solution. We can put more weight at the end of the plank, which will generate more torque. And it will work just fine. Now. If a small car needs less force and a big truck needs more, then why just we won't calculate torque in force? What's the use of length from which is acting? Here's why. If we take the same example of the truck and we don't have that much weight available, still we can move it forward by just increasing the length of the plank. Like if the length of the plank is increased twice, then you will need half the weight to do the same thing. This is called as leverage or mechanical advantage. You can try this at home also. Go to the nearest door of your room. Try to push that door with your finger from near the hinge like this. See how much force do you require to do this. Now try doing the same thing but this time long away from the hinge near the handle like this and see how much force you require. You will observe that you will need less force second time. The phenomenon of leverage you observe this time is same what is happening with our example. You need less force if the length of plank is more and more force if the length of plank is less. Let's discuss the unit of torque. The standard ones are Newton meters, kg meter and pound feet. They all are product of force and distance. But you can also make your own like gram centimeter, pound inch, and turn light here. Uh, nope, last one's not possible. That's it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of now, I'm signing off and see you guys in the next one.